Pretty Club is Pixie. This is Jillish. <laughs> Jillish. I just want to have a chitty chat, honest, heart to heart, life update, spill my little soul, um, have a little sip. I feel like I've just been like, I literally, what the video that I had planned to go up right after the last one was like a fashion design DIY project with me thing. And I was like, that feels so weird to put up after like one of the most like personal and sad and serious videos I'll ever make. And then I'm just like, look at my pom pom jacket tee. -hee. So still look forward to that. That will be fun. I've been working on that jacket for like, um, like, oh my God, like, over two months now. But I figured uh, the, the, let's have a little talking human moment. Let me not be five minute crafts on you immediately. Things have been very intense for a very long time in different ways. This year has been kicking my ass and the ass kicking has been a, a bit more in the public eye in the last few weeks. So I just, yeah, I just wanna chat with you guys about what the hell has been up, where my mind's at. Uh, and where where the channel is gonna go from here. Um, I feel like, I don't feel like, I know I have been saying for many months, if not probably a year at this point, that I wanted to get back to like a more regular upload schedule. And I'm, this video is not just for me to complain and be like, wah, 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 life's been hard so I can't film and make a YouTube video. Cause like, you definitely work a harder job than me and you don't want to hear me say that. And I understand that a lot. But I, I guess I'll just say it one more time. I am really, really passionate and excited and like bubbling with hope um, for a fresh and consistent era of pickle locks. I am definitely trying to exit my flop era, um, which I tweeted a couple of weeks ago. There's a couple tweets that I guess I can put on the screen just that go along with my thoughts of this era. Um, one of them being like, yeah, I definitely, unfortunately, my YouTube channel and my online presence as a whole definitely took more of a backseat than I ever wanted it to. Um, because, you know, figuring out I had dissociative identity disorder is just like a mind like splitting apart and coming back together and like I had to rearrange all my molecules again just to be as dramatic as humanly possible in the way that makes the least sense, I guess. And pandemic and college and blah, 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 blah. Again, boring things we've been over already. But the exciting thing is, is that a lot of that stuff is like under control or better now and despite life continuing to like every month or two, it would come and just hit me with like a big one. Like something that would cause me to trigger warning for mention of disordered eating. Anytime something really, really big sh like shakes my world, I straight up can't eat for like four days. Just water and like sometimes coffee. Cause I've straight up been in fight or flight so much and I know I'm in a safe home and I'm not being attacked by bears and I wasn't in the war, but it's literally my body's response is fight or flight and it shuts off your digestive system. I've learned so much. Therapy in a nutshell, YouTube channel has gotten me through so many mornings, shaking, heart pounding, sweating, feeling like my body is uninhabitable. I can't even live in it because it's full of shock and fear and I can't even move because I'm Ooh. So I definitely have become very, very cozy and familiar with how I react in situations of like big hard news, grief, loss, trauma, just, da, 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 yeah, it's just a lot of processing. Honestly, let's get into the mental health aspect of it. Is that okay? Are you interested in that? Just in like a personal stuff I've been going through this year kind of perspective that you probably want that more than just me showing you how to make a pom-pom, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's another thing I want to ask. Sorry, brain is- oh, pucks my own eyeball. Brain is going blingo blongo splingo blongo. What was I even gonna say? I lost that train of thought completely. Oh mama. It is October 11th, the day I'm filming this, and I think it's actually just about the one year anniversary of when I had my diagnostic evaluation, not the day I got the results back, but the day that I went in for it. I've had an almost incomprehensible amount of growth 
and change and healing in myself, in my brain, a lot of trauma processing, a lot of integration in the sense of lowering amnesic walls, parts getting closer, um, better communication between parts, being able to kind of work as a team, and honestly at this point I think I can say that we have achieved functional multiplicity? I haven't said that out loud before. I mean, except for like the odd, like strange, there's sometimes there's the odd like question mark where it's like, what did that, does, who's that? And does she not know what's going on? And like, is she gonna come back? And where's she? But for the most part, we're living life. We're working together as a team to be productive and be healthy and be happy and maintain relationships and work towards our, you know, combined goal of this life. So yeah, that's been a huge, 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 huge amount of hard, painful work, but it's more worth it than anything else in the whole world. And nothing, nothing proves it to me, like, you know, going through really stressful, um, traumatizing situations, like things I'm sure you guys are all aware have been happening online in the last week and a bit. I am only interested in moving forward and like doing my thing. Anything that needed to be addressed has been addressed, so. But as I was saying, it really, really has shown me how successfully I can communicate with my parts and how they can communicate with me and what a wonderful system, pun intended, I guess, we have where like everyone's really settled into their roles wonderfully and beautifully, and I would not have been able to get through this stuff as un truly unscathed and unharmed as I am, despite, you know, it being traumatizing and shaking, but like, no relapses, no splits, we don't think. We really understand and have gripped this tool and are working it in a way that serves us so much. Sorry, I'm rambling a lot. I, I think just talking about it now is making me realize how far I've come and sorry, patting myself on the back majorly here, but I feel a lot more functional in life. I have a lot less time loss, um, a lot less like big chunks of unexplainable like where was I, what was going on. It was really really bad last year. I rarely knew what day it was, thus the bracelets that help. Like over a week would go by and I would not respond to like really important emails or like just if you were trying to message me like absolutely good luck. There's still a couple business emails like I'm, I'm <laughs> that I need to respond to. I really struggle with stuff like that. But I've seen just a ton of progress in my ability to function and work and also like, you know, not just things that serve society and big a big pharma. <laughs> Not just in like a capitalism way, also like how to work through work through relationships better and you know a ton of our BPD symptoms are like gone in me as a part and lessened a lot in Jer. Um, Jer definitely shows a lot more classic um, like loud BPD traits, but I used to struggle with like jealousy, internalizing like, oh, you spent like three hours with them, but like two hours with me, so like, just tell me you hate me already. Like, I don't have that little like spark inside of me of just twisting things in the worst possible light always. Like, I have a lot more trust in the people around me and I'm really able to immediately identify even usually subconsciously without even thinking when something is a BPD thought that is not grounded in logic. I can just kind of filter them away. I go, oh, that's a borderline thing. And I like literally, I don't even feel it. So yeah, it is still a diagnosis that we have, but I've been working a lot, a lot, a lot on traits and stuff. And yeah, things are just like, things are really good and I feel really excited about life. There was definitely also a period in the last few years where I like flirted with the thought. This is really sad. I like have had the thought before where I was like, how long am I going to be doing this YouTube thing? Because I just, it felt so impossible for me to do. I 
felt like I couldn't be myself or show myself on camera at all before I got diagnosed because I felt like I was just, my brain was so scrambled and everywhere. Everything, all my content is so personality based and it's so like me talking to you that I knew you guys were gonna be like, what the f is going on? If I wasn't constantly masking last year. And then after coming out about my diagnosis and the months that followed, it's just, you know, it's a scary, tricky, road to trek. People are vicious and you want to be careful how much of your heart and soul and mind you're sharing with like the whole internet, especially when there are straight up people out to get me. <laughs> but I feel, I feel comfortable and confident and I love you guys. Let's talk about views. Let's talk about views and analytics for a second because I never do that. My channel has definitely been impacted from me not uploading as frequently and as well as I think a lot of people were confused when I was diagnosed with DID or they just followed me many years ago and they don't dress in this style anymore so maybe they like do you know they fully are not like a J fashionista kawaii person anymore for a lot of people it is a phase but I definitely think that there is a portion of my audience that just doesn't believe I have DID, whether that is in like a rare like I hate you way or just a genuine like they genuinely they're not nasty about it but it's they just don't believe in it. Obviously it's hurtful, obviously sucks, but I really just have had to remind myself over and over again that I I don't need to prove myself to anyone and it would just take so much, so much, so much energy to constantly try to dance this dance and like prove to people who don't understand. A lot of the time when I feel this like sadness uh, thinking about the people that maybe used to watch me and don't anymore because of my mental illness, I just hope that maybe in like three or four or five years or however many years, maybe they remember me and they check back up on me and they see that I still have DID and that I've been the same person this whole time and that nothing ever changed. This is just my life with this illness. I don't expect an apology or anything. I got one once that was really sweet actually. I straight up got one from someone who was like, I'm so sorry, I didn't believe you had DID and it was a long paragraph and it actually made me cry. That was sweet. I don't expect that, but I just hope it's, I just hope these people one day know I'm not a big lying master manipulator pulling the puppet strings. Cause oh my God, would I never roll the dice to ruin my reputation and life and career like that. Oh my God. I do think uh, part of the reason why my my like engagement overall is lower is also because yeah I've been uploading extremely infrequently and randomly. I want to get back to posting once a week. Can you imagine? That would be so lovely. I'm really trying to exit out of my unmanaged mental illness years. The years of not being able to even open my emails because it just sends a fiery shooting like fear to my stomach and I have to literally get up and walk away from my computer and like shake. That's just anxiety. I have, uh, they, when, when they re-diagnosed me with generalized anxiety disorder, they were like, this is actually so severe. They were like, this is like one of the most, <laughs> you guys know how anxious I am because I get on the camera and I'm like hoinky doinky doinky doinky. Like I can't even look at my email page without like actually being like <gasps> I laugh because it's sad. And guess what? System communication has helped hugely with that. Cliff is a total all-star and I've been checking emails very frequently and responding frequently like an icon who has help from another person who's kind of me. Basically I just want you guys to know that I'm like very, very passionate and invested in the future of my YouTube channel and the present of my YouTube channel and the reason that I have been not able to produce as much is a lot of health, uh, like mental health stuff and I don't think it should be quite as in the way anymore despite insane shit continuing to happen on like a monthly basis. That's just life. That's just life. There will always be things. There will always be things that make me like just quiver in fear. <laughs> I'm coping a lot better than I was before and I'm really really excited to give it my full all again. I feel like I've always been trying to give it my all but my all was like shrunken and now 
it is large once more. A lot of you guys have watched me since I was a young sprout. You guys have watched me literally be like, oh, 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 I made this little cosplay. I sewed it. I, I want to go to f -f -f fashion school. And now I've like gone to fashion school and graduated. I'm ready to start living the life that I really want to without my mental health, slowing it down so much with just like molasses in the gears of my life. So yeah, no matter how long you've been um, along for the ride, sorry, major cliche, um, thank you, I love you so much. Life is really wild, and I think a lot of puzzle pieces are clicking in for me, and I'm starting to actually see the full picture of what my life has been, and a lot of it's been really wonderful and magical, um, and a lot of that's because of you guys, so really, 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 really thank you. And I hope that you'll be here for the next era of whatever this is. <laughs> um, what do you guys want to see from me? What kind of content? Because, like, I have a ton of ideas. I have a big list and a lot of things I'm really excited for. Um, like, lifestyle-y stuff, like vlogs and, like, I don't know, going to the freaking pumpkin patch. And, like, I can do a gift wrapping video again. And, like, a lot. I want to do a how to crochet for beginners video. I made this sweater. Isn't it cute? And, um, I also... I have fashion design videos and videos about drag and also more meet the altars and like I can do videos about whatever you want. I just want to know what you guys want. I need to end this video. <laughs> this video needs to end soon. This video's Beach Confetti Club member is Jay Pie Pie on Twitter who did this lovely art. How colorful! How like shiny. It like looks like some sort of like gummy that I want to eat. It looks shiny and delicious and delectable. Okay, zooming in on the frigging bunny in the background, that is a friend-shaped man. This is just super sweet. I love the expression so much and all the colors are really wonderful. Thank you so, so much for sharing this. And this video's Pixie Loves feature is Gekor on, what is this platform? TikTok. I found this on my For You page, one of these amazing pieces of art by this person. And I have shown it to so many people because I just can't get over it. How unique and like, ex but familiar because everyone knows that old style of graphics. But I don't think, I don't know anyone else who has recreated it with traditional materials. This is so cool, it blows my mind and like makes me like, <sighs> I just feel like I need to show people and be like, do you see this? It's wild. What's going on? And the squiggles and the composition. It's just really, really cool. I get really excited when I find artists. TikTok is a really great platform for artists. There's a lot of like ceramicists that I probably wouldn't know of if it wasn't for the talk. So yeah, check out this user. I love the art. Extremely cool kiss. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching another video by The Locks. It's been wild and you are sweet and that's not my outro and I'll see you in the next video which is not this one because this one's over. Bye!